Disclaimer, I am not a certified plastic surgeon, nor a licensed practitioner. The decision to undergo cosmetic surgery will always be yours to make. Just putting this out there. So we all know that being a sub 5 is pretty inescapable facial attractiveness wise. If you are not overweight at least. If you are obese, you can just drop the fat and get a ridiculous boost in attractiveness, depending on your base. But if you are below average looking because you are lacking in certain important features like eyes and jaw, or you got a lot of mid to minor flaws combined, it's highly unlikely that you would be able to boost your score or attractiveness naturally. This is why many people who reach out to me on my Instagram or Fiverr gig, they inquire about what surgeries they can get and if it's worth it or not. And oh boy, that's one hell of a discussion to have. In today's video, I will try and tackle multiple angles of this subject. For example, what are the positives and negatives of getting cosmetic surgery? Is it worth it in a western dating market? Some popular cosmetic surgeries that target major flaws in the face. And if you want to support the channel and get your face evaluated by me with personalized look max and advice, link will be down in the description. Without further ado, let's get this video started. Let's start the video on a positive note, because why not? So what are some of the positives about plastic surgery? Well, since we are no longer living in the dark ages, the success rate is very high as long as you go to a trusted and trained professional. If you go to a nobody who's cheap, I don't know, for example, in Brazil, and you get your face messed up, well, you only got yourself to blame for that one. This is not something you want to cheap out on. Second positive thing I have in mind is how the new better look will benefit your overall mental health. Feeling good about how you look and move can give you confidence and improve your self-esteem. When you feel good about yourself, you have less anxiety about social interactions. It can help with depression if your depression is related to the way you look. With less anxiety, your social life can blossom. You might find yourself with a new renewed desire to try new food or new fashions. Imagine living with less stress and more friends. The third and most denied benefit by some people for some reason is the improved dating life, with more dating chances and opportunities. We all try and pretend that looks don't matter, but everyone know deep down that women want to date attractive men, and if your surgery is successful resulting in you looking better, then that will give you more opportunities. The fourth and final reason is that people will treat you better in general. We all know pretty privilege exists, and we all know unattractive people get treated poorly in society. Sadly, they get treated like rejects in the house, at school, or at work. People who get successful plastic surgeries report getting better treatment by everyone around them. Well, what about some of the negatives then? According to my interaction with people in the community these last few months, I noticed that people are not in the correct state of mind to undergo surgery. I mean by that that they suffer from body dysmorphia, so they will never be satisfied with the way they look. They will keep getting surgery after surgery after surgery until they end up like this. So make sure you are mentally sane first. Second negative point. This mostly applies to men and rarely applies to women. You are gonna get shamed to hell if people know cause it's not manly and like many red pill guys, they will tell you to just be confident and get rich. And that getting plastic surgery is feminine. Also, people will think that you cheated your way up. Third negative point, it's expensive and it will break your bank if you are broke. Final negative point is sometimes the end results of the surgery will not be what you hoped for. Of course, there's more negatives than positives, but these segments are boring, so let's move on. So when it comes to the Western dating market, a lot of people I've worked with said that they are rich or at least well off financially, but they still struggled in dating because they did not meet the modern women's standards when it comes to height or attractiveness, or sometimes both, which led them to inquire about plastic surgery. Some dudes who got the money did the smart thing. They took their business to a country where women still had traditional relationship values and the SMV of white men in those countries is much higher. They got married and settled there, saving them the trouble. The other group who stayed in the western countries most likely opted for the surgery option. Money is a good thing, and a man who got resources will be attractive in that regard, but attraction solely based on money, it never truly ends well. Attraction should be from both sides. Sexual attraction combined with attraction to resources, a man who got both is a very powerful man. If looks don't matter, Elon Musk wouldn't get a hair transplant now, would he? So what are the most surgeries done that target major flaws in the jaw and eyes? Well, let's start with the jaw. When it comes to the jaw, there's three surgeries. Maxillary osteotomy. This type of surgery corrects a significantly recessed upper jaw, crossbite, or when you have too many or too few teeth showing. It also can adjust an open bite. Mandibular osteotomy. This surgery corrects a significantly recessed lower jaw. 
The surgeon moves the jawbone forward or backward depending on the best adjustment and bite alignment. Genioplasty, a deficient chin often accompanies a severely recessed lower jaw. Typically, surgeons can alter the jaw and reconstruct the chin during the same surgery. Derma fillers. Fillers are non-surgical and their use vary from person to person, but they can also be used to fill out the jaw, fix asymmetries, or more like patch up asymmetries. Some people use it in the chin to make it look more projected. Derma fillers are versatile. What about the eyes then? Well, according to all the faces I've rated, these are the two main major flaws, upper and lower eyelid exposure, plus droopy lower eyelids, or a negative cantle tilt. Of course, there are others, but these two bad boys can shred your attractiveness. So what can be done about them then? Blepharoplasty. Blepharoplasty is a kind of surgery performed on the eyelid. It's done to remove excess skin from the upper eyelids and reduce bagginess from the lower eyelid. It's also called an eye lift. Cantoplasty. This is a reconstructive surgical procedure which is used to correct drooping or sagging eyes. By tightening the muscles or ligaments that give support to the outer corner of the eyelid. Cantoplasty surgery essentially alters the shape of the eye, or in simple man's terms, you get this to correct a negative cantle tilt. For the majority of the people who scored below a 5, these were their major flaws. Of course, there's many others like facelift, cheek fillers, rhinoplasty, eyebrow lift, etc. The list keeps going. If you guys are interested in a video about these surgeries and what they correct in a simplified manner, you let me know. So what's my final opinion on surgery? I want you to look at it like this. Does the positives of cosmetic surgery outweigh its negatives for your case? I can only give advice, but the final decision on such a serious matters would be yours. That's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A like and subscribe will be highly appreciated. And like usual, catch you guys in the next one.